Hey, Summit, this is Edward. You know this guy, Jake. This is your weekly update. Make sure you share this on all your platforms. Jake, how are you this morning? I like that shirt. Thanks, dude. It's That's a, or it's not even a shirt. It's like a pullover. Yeah, it's a saltwater soul. Nice. like to be around salt water. So, hey, got a couple things going on. A uh, couple of things, Jake. They're hey, right. and we have something at the end of the video. For those of you that stay to the end of the video, yes, I've, I've got do. something yes, for you. Yes, we do. I got something. Also. No, mine's this better. Is, it's going to be good. Hey, Disciple Now weekend starts uh, Friday, and so we're excited about that. Got kids coming from all over the community, from multiple churches. Uh, it's going to be a great weekend, and so excited about this. This weekend mm-hmm. going to be a lot of life change, a lot of kids getting saved. If you have a teenager, 6th through 12th grade, that's not signed up, get them signed up. Get a hold of David uh, today. Uh, you can bring them tomorrow night. Just get a hold of David. David at summitheightsfellowship.com, and let's get those kids involved and disciple now. I won't be there. Uh, nope. You're actually preaching another uh, retreat Preaching weekend. a retreat down yep. at Sky Ranch some this pre-teens, weekend. Some pre-teens. Some pre Going to be uh, zip lining. We Good. Hey, you know, the following Sunday, the 26th, there's a little bit going on that day, too. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about that? Because you're involved in one of those big time. Got membership going on on that Sunday, the 26th. Sign up through the communication card. Call the church office. Email me, Jake, at summitheightsfellowship.com. Got Women Facing Cancer Together, the support group for those yep. ladies. They meet uh, that Sunday as well. Our Kid Venture Kids are going to Longview. Safety City. To Safety City as a part of their road rules. I I had somebody ask me about that, road rules uh, for our kids' mm-hmm. ministry. Let me tell you what the kids have done this month. The, the theme is road rules, and the uh, launch verse uh, is where uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, you know, and all that, and love others as yourself. So the premise is you want to treat others as you treat yourself. Yeah. And so, you know, like road rules. You don't want to be road raging. You want to be like, you know, courteous. It's good stuff, man. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was kind of looking at that stuff last night that they were doing even – it's pretty. It's, it's really good stuff. If you don't if you have your kids involved in Kid Venture on Wednesday night or uh, on Sunday morning, I'm telling you they're missing out. Uh, it's it's really good stuff. Stories. Uh, hey, March fifth, we have child dedication. Okay. You know, Kristen's working on that. Uh, so make sure if you have a child you want to have dedicated that Sunday, we need to know beforehand because there's some stuff that we yeah, put we together. Yeah, make some certificates. And um, some so get a hold of things. Kristen at summithousefellowship.com. She can get you signed up for that. And yes, Jake, story. Uh, man, it's been really cool over the last few weeks as we've been talking about story. Uh, I know this weekend's going to be another weekend full of stories. And then the following two weeks, I'm telling you, you don't want to miss what God's going to do. There, I'm telling you, there's going to be some cool things happening. Uh, even working on another story coming in uh, mm-hmm. in March, April, somewhere in there. So really excited about that. Send me your stories. Some of you uh, contacted me Sunday and said, hey, you're willing to share your story and man I'm so excited about that Jay because that's one generation declaring to another generation the, the works of God so um, it's a new story Edward at summitheightsfellowship.com Love to hear your story. One, two, three, maybe four sentences. If you want to write a whole page, that's great, too. Uh, just so that we can kind of look at those stories, celebrate with you, but also see where we can share those stories as well. So uh, share those with us. Edward at summithousefellowship.com. Share your stories. Jake, have you heard about this um, this revival going on at Asbury College? So to be honest with you, I have heard about it, but and this is what frustrates me about where we are as a, a church universal right now it's it's almost like we're we're skeptical we're yeah. we're angry we're like um I don't know it's like we attack our own and so <laughs> to answer your question I have heard about it but most of what I hear about it are people that are trying to like discredit it or say that it's not of God or, you know, negative stuff. Yeah. So I started searching for some stuff on the positive end and I found some really cool stories that have been happening down there. Mm-hmm. So I just think that it's cool. And I see on your notes there that, um, you know, we need to be praying for what's going on down there. And hope well, here, that here's sweep, what I know. Hope that it sweeps this way. Yeah, here's what I know. There's a lot of people that are critical about that and, and what's going on out there. And maybe you've read something on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. Here's what I know about revival. Revival starts when people seek God. 
You will seek me and you will find me when you That's seek it. me with all That's your That's it, heart. Jake. Mm-hmm. And, and, and the amazing thing is, is God will show up. And so I want to invite you on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. and Mondays at, or Tuesdays at mm-hmm. 1. Uh, we have two designated prayer times where we gather together. Uh, you can pray anywhere. You can pray in your car, your boat, on the golf cart. Um, you can pray at home, on your back porch, your sunroom. There's something about corporate prayer, people coming together, uh, that that God moves in that. So I invite you on Sunday morning, 9 a.m., Tuesday at 1 p.m. I lead that time on Sunday morning. Andrew leads the time on Tuesday. Uh, we want to invite you to come and be a part of prayer time. And let's just ask God to do that. I mean, I, if he can do that in Asbury, he can do mm-hmm. that here. He can do that in oh. Kenya. I just saw where a good friend of mine got back from Kenya, yeah. did some incredible stuff there mm-hmm. uh, on another continent. And mm-hmm. so I want God to do that here. You know, I think I'm fixing to preach. I think a lot of times we're skeptical of moves of God because we ourselves are wishing that it would happen for us. Right. And we're the ones not seeking God. And when we see other people experiencing God in amazing Mm -hmm. ways, the only thing we know to do is to be skeptical about it. I was reading in the Gospels earlier this week about the woman that just wanted to touch Jesus's cloak. And man, we mean that's seeking God and all the people everywhere Jesus went, the Pharisees you know, being skeptical and stuff. So I like it. I got something for you. Last week, you uh, (laughs) talked about our streak, right? Yeah, no breakfast. And and so I wanted you to know that I can bring you breakfast today. Got you some... uh, Muffins? Are these muffins? They are, dude. And so I didn't want you to be whining on TV. Well, thank you, Edward. Whining on YouTube. That's uh, interesting that you would bring me sugary muffins mm-hmm. when I, this week I've cut out all carbs and sugars. I mean, you did that last week, too. I mean, that's just... You did So now week. you're going to make dude, me... I'm here to encourage you oh, and bless Lord. you and to give you... Um, Is anybody still watching? Sustenance. I don't know. Seven minutes into this deal, I doubt it. I guess we need to close it. We probably I'll do it. my thing next week. Yeah. I had something for the end yeah, of the video. Yeah, I messed you up, week. didn't I? Yeah, I you messed did. you up. Hey, I love you, Summit. Have a great day. We'll see you Sunday.